I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Ever feel like no good deed goes unpunished? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Like our videos, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you can get notifications, and if you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, hit that donate button, and give today. Your tax-deductible gift doesn't buy treats for Thor, but it does keep us rolling. Bible study Thursday gives us Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. I think we're going to do 9 today. Um, Don't be discouraged. Don't grow weary. Don't lose your enthusiasm. Eg kakuo. Um, uh, it's sort of kakos is bad. Um, don't get don't get bad in yourself. Um, Deficamus is the Latin. I, I would have to do a word study on there because that doesn't sound good at all. Um, don't, don't get discouraged. Don't get down. Don't get wrapped up in the evil of doing good. For in Kairos, for at the right time, for in, um, in one's own season, it'll reap. You'll reap. We will reap. Actually, it's a third person, a uh, first person plural. If if we don't give up, give out. What a great reading. What an absolutely great reading. Don't grow tired and discouraged from doing good. For in, in at the right time, at our right time, we will reap. Um... Uh, not giving up. You know, you're putting in the time. You're doing the thing you need to do. Come on, boy. You want this treat? Come on. Come on, say hello to everybody. Come on. Come on, boy. You can do it. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Jump up. Oh, you're killing me, bud. Come on. Come on up. Come, come. Yeah, I know. You know, when the dog doesn't listen to you. <laughs> Epic fail. Come on, boy. Come here. Oh, that was painful to watch. We get tired. We get weary. We do the right thing. We want to do good. We try to do good. And even sometimes for the right reasons. We want to help our church out. We know the way our church needs to do. We want to help people out. We help others. And it's sometimes even from a pure heart. And things go horribly wrong. We look up at the heavens and we're like, Why? Why would you let me do this and have me fail utterly miserable, miserably when I'm asking this for you? When I'm trying to do this for you? And it's easy to get tired. The apostle says this because we get tired. The apostle puts this in, in, in Galatians because we grow weary. We get frustrated because what we want to do turns bad. It goes cockles, evil. And what the apostle says in due season, it's going to turn out. Don't give up. And it's not going to turn good because you don't give up. 
And it's not going to turn good because you work so hard. It's not going to turn good because you put in the time. It's going to turn good because Jesus is a good God who loved you all the way to Calvary, who did a Lent for you and then an Easter. There's no one who did more good than Jesus. And he was cursed to wear our curse, crown of thorns, cursed as anyone who, will, who hangs on a tree. So when you, when you do good and it goes poorly, when you, when you feel like you can't go on because everything has gone wrong, when you look at the situation in your life, in your church, hey, buddy, gotcha, with your friends, high five, oh, when your dog doesn't jump up in your lap and it's awkward, don't lose heart, even if it takes your last bit of strength. Know that he who has begun a good work in you will bring it to completion in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. You may not even see what good in this life happens, but that doesn't change him and what he's doing. You may never see the fruit of your good gifts, but that doesn't mean they're not good because they're in Jesus. What makes a good work a good work? Faith. Two people can do the same thing. One's a good work before God, one's not. I like to move my hands when I have a treat in my hand because it's kind of funny. Isn't it just cruel? Whoever possesses this treat possesses the power of Thor. Nice. And so the apostle tells you because he knows what you're going through. Because the Lord knows what you're going through. That you do good and things fail. That you try and nothing works. Don't run out of gas. Instead, receive more from God. More of his words. More of his promises. More of your suffering. So that you will see in the end how good the God is who has saved you. Because he is good in Jesus. And then when the right time comes, when it's, when it's the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, on that day, you will see how great he is, how marvelous he is of a God. Notice, not how good you are, Ooh, what a good boy you are licking my hand. But how great he is of a God who works such good through you. He was faithful unto death. Even death. Pastor George Borkart, have a merry life. And this has been a Higher Things video short.